Okay, our next presentation is going to be about chamber marketing opportunities. And you can have the opportunity here to learn about some things you can do with your chamber membership that you've probably never heard of before that are very inexpensive and very successful. So, Al Camello, come up and tell us all about those. For this to work, you should go to the page that's inside the flyer because uh, I'm not using a live prompter with the internet behind us, so we have to sort of pretend. Um, my name is Al Camello, and I've been here about 10, 11 years, and through this process, I've become sort of a jack-of-all-trades in marketing projects. Well, last fall, I was uh, working with one of the tour operators, and I was studying the statistics from their website to see where their traffic was coming from, and I would get an email every Monday morning telling me what the traffic for the previous week was, and I started noticing that his number one source of traffic was Google. Oh, he was pretty well positioned, and so he was doing a good job to get traffic. But number two was always visit Sedona.com. Now, this was a tour operator, and I know that the tourists go to the website, and they want to see what there is to see and do, and so they uh, connect with uh, uh, that part of the uh, Chambers website where they have the directory, and you have all these different tour categories. But he had not one ad. He wasn't paying one penny in the Chamber's website above and beyond what came with the deal of being a member of the Chamber and a member of the uh, Tourism Bureau. And uh, so at the same time, I received uh, a piece of literature from the Chamber about innovative marketing opportunities from the Chamber. And and really what it was about are things that you can buy inside the Chamber's website that might possibly increase your chance that you're going to get more click-throughs. <laughs> so through this process, I developed an interest in seeing what could I do to really enhance a, uh, um, a Chamber member's position in the website. So with that, uh, working with Richard Lentz, who owns Sedona Adventure Tours, which is not the tour company that I was speaking of, but here was another gentleman who had a tour company that was doing pretty well in his website traffic. Um, so we, I went on a mission working with Richard to buy as much of Chamber product to see what it would do to his web traffic. And the first thing we found out is that as a visitor, um, as a tourism bureau member, he's allowed two categories inside the Chamber directory. He had already bought two more, because you can buy them at $55 a piece. So he had four different categories that he had his uh, business description. Well, in studying it, and that's what this little box is trying to imply, if you really look at the uh, Chamber's directory categories, um, we found and identified a, a fifth one that he qualified for, because all the Chamber is asking is that your um, business have something to do with the category that you are buying. Another unique thing is you don't have to use the same copy in all two, three, four, or five, whatever you've bought. So you can customize the copy to reflect the subject matter of that particular directory listing. So we did that. Then um, you can also start off and buy additional uh, characters. Like for, what is it, um, $95 a year you can have 300 characters, which gives you much more room to be able to say something. And for $135 a year, it's 500 characters. And that's a one-time price that reflects all of the directory listings you have. So in Richard's case, he has five directories. He's got five different descriptions. And he just pays the $95 one time, and he can use 300 characters to describe each one. Then through the process, I find out that they described uh, in this uh, promotion product that the Chamber has that you can put a graphic right there inside your directory. And if you look at this, that's where I say Sedona's cool is fun. Now, that could be a picture. It could be a uh, uh, logo. It could be uh, anything that you thought would be compelling, knowing that it's a pretty small little image, so you don't want a whole lot of detail there. And if you notice, I, I show the arrow pointing down below uh, to Sedona Wine Country Tours, and that owner chose to put her own personal picture there. And in Richard's case, we used Sedona's Coolest Fun for a prime reason, and that was uh, he has lots of different tours, and so there was no one photograph that we could come up with. But Pink Jeeps, you go to their directory, guess what's there? <laughs> the Pink Jeep all upside down, which is their signature. Now, 
again, what we were trying to do is if you go to a, any directory listing that the chamber has, you know that the consumer is doing just what you are. You're going to scan down and use your scroll. Anything that gets them to stop works in your behalf. And that's just like, uh, you know, a direct mail piece. So um, this was an, a cost. Well, what is the cost of that? It's $150 a year. And in Richard's case, he's got five different places in the Chamber's website where that Sedona's Coolest Fun uh, image pops out of the page. Then we see that the Chamber offers a video link. As you'll see, uh, there's a, a link there where it has a link to your website, uh, email address. Um, so Richard happened to have a 30-second video, a, t t a commercial, promoting his business. And uh, so we had it converted to the format that the Chamber requested. So if you click on that button, that image you see in the middle here where the boat is pops up. And as a consequence, you actually see a 30-second commercial. So right there from those five different directory positions inside the Chamber, Richard spent small monies not like big ads in newspapers, and he's got all this going for him, and all he was doing was working with uh, his membership in, with the chamber. So that video clip was $100 per year to get that link. He had to own his own video, uh, video piece, it has to be 30 seconds, but uh, uh, with that done, uh, it, was, it was a great move. The Chamber also offers on the website the addition of banner ads on a whole variety of pages. And you might note that the home page is sold out, which is their most expensive position. So it shows that some of the movers and shakers in Sedona have decided that it's a good way to spend $2,200 a year, which is a lot of money compared to $100 here and $50 there. Now if we flip over to the next page, I want to talk about something besides the Chamber's website, and that is the Visitor Center. Um, I had not gone to the Visitor Center since they had built the new facility. It was criminally nine months old before I walked in there, because I'm never in Uptown. And, uh, and I was pretty impressed. It was new and fresh and all that. But there was this kiosk, this electronic uh, computer built into the wall inside and outside. And, um, and it works somewhat like going to the Chamber's website, because uh, uh, the kiosk was... Uh, touch, you know, it was a touch interface. They also have all the rack cards that we have. Now, you know, everybody has rack cards and it comes with your chamber membership, the ability to put the rack card there. Well, I don't know if you saw an email from the chamber a couple months ago, but they were soliciting to get people to come up with coupons that you give to the, um, to the folks that work at the uh, center, uh, visitor center, and they will put these coupons in front of your rack so this sits in front of Richard's uh, uh, rack card, and the top of his card sits up above it. And it's a 20% coupon customized for just visitor center uh, visitors. The cost for this is nothing. You just have to do the work and give it to the chamber. You have to make it so it fits. Remember, those things are, have a certain dimension. And there, if you go there, you'll see there's a handful of people that are doing this. Not very many. Probably less than one hand. Uh,